black-eyed children, also known as black-eyed kids, are paranormal creatures in American contemporary legend. They resemble children aged 6 to 16, with pale skin and completely black eyes. They are often reported hitchhiking, begging, or appearing on residential doorsteps. Although some tabloid sources claim that stories of black-eyed children date back to the 1980s, most sources trace the legend to 1996. This is when Texas reporter Brian Bethel posted about two encounters with black-eyed kids on a ghost-related mailing list. Bethel recounted meeting two such children in Abilene, Texas in 1996 and mentioned another similar encounter in Portland, Oregon. It all started on a warm May night, May 28th to be exact. Nothing was out of the ordinary. My friends and I were playing video games on a school night, procrastinating homework, yelling at each other about who knows what. We grew tired of playing video games, so I signed off for the night. I don't live far from a general store, so I thought I might as well hop on my bike, ride there to get some cream soda and sunflower seeds. Just hang out, relax. So I did. The bike ride usually takes around 10 minutes. It consists of going through my neighborhood, a scary ass bike trail, and then another neighborhood. I had my earbuds in. I got all the way to the store when I realized I didn't have my wallet. It was getting dark. I got back on my bike and started the ride home. Usually when I go back, I cut through a backyard instead of taking the trail. But for some reason, I felt compelled to go down the trail. As I rode down the trail, I heard an inhuman screech, like a mix between a bald eagle and a human scream. I of course looked towards where the sound came from. I saw an extremely skinny, super pale and very tall figure get on all fours and start running at me. Now, when I say extremely skinny, I mean like it was skin and bones and the legs and arms were super long. The face was nearly featureless besides for a mouth and two black eyes. I got the hell out of there as fast as my bike could handle. I know I wasn't just imagining it. I now have my license and a car. I refuse to go down that trail when it's remotely close to dark out. 